Well, new at 5.30, a high school student in New Jersey recovering from some serious puncture wounds after being attacked by a pit bull. The animal breaking off its leash, charging the young man while he was walking down the street. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates spoke with that boy and his family. She is live in Jersey City this evening. Tony. And guys, you know, thank goodness that child was able to escape that pit bull without more serious injuries because according to him the owner didn't even try to pull that dog off of him and she and her vicious dog have not been seen since oh i'm looking oh i'm up five in the morning looking on corbin stuyvesant decal west side avenue <laughs> sleeping in my car just to see if i see the, the owner the dog all it takes is for a loving parent to see their child scarred like this physically and emotionally for that parent to have sleepless nights and determination to find the person responsible for their animal attacking. I look up, saw the dog, then out of nowhere, it charged at me and brought me on my leg. I mean, I mean my right leg. Mm -hmm. And then you got away and then? And then now I was trying to run. I saw the dog came at me again and bite me on my left leg, but this time it hold it, hold it tight on my left leg. This happened October 10th. The younger Holly says he was walking home along Corbin Avenue, coming from an evening of basketball with friends, when out of nowhere and without warning, the pit bull attacked. She was trying to stop, but she didn't grab the leash because I thought it might, I thought she might have grabbed the dog on my first bite, but it didn't. But well, she didn't. So the dog had a leash on, but she wasn't holding the leash. No. Without the owner's information about the dog, Derek has to endure painful rounds of shots just in case the dog wasn't vaccinated against rabies. The Hollies are hoping someone knows and will give them information on the owner. It would have been all right if the owner would have stayed, then we didn't know what's going on. But now that we're looking for the owner, the dog, we just need answers. Derek has still not been able to return to school, and because they don't know anything about the dog's health history, he's still got two more painful rounds of shots he's got to take.